It's Thursday today, short day at Parliament. Uh, the House sits at two o'clock and finishes at, at six. Um, and it's a relatively quiet day to day. It's sort of interesting how sometimes uh, the whole buildings can be full of excitement with political matters, but the house can be relatively staid and possibly even boring. And it, it, there's a possibility of that happening today. Start off uh, with the statement, the business statement from the leader of the house, uh, who tells us what's going to happen next week. Sometimes uh, a bit of an interrogation from the shadow leader of the house. Then we go into questions. Um, Amy Adams. Um, about families and, and economic policy to the Minister of Finance, uh, Judith Collins to the Minister of Housing uh, about the Residential Tenancies Act discussion document, um, Joe Luxton to the Minister of Housing, what reports has he seen on the housing market, uh, Paul Goldsmith to the Minister of Transport, does he stand by all his statements, and uh, Nikki Kaye uh, about the priority for education expenditure, uh, Louise Upston about social development uh, policies, uh, Priyanka Radhakrishnan uh, to the Minister for Disability Issues uh, about recent announcements, Jackie Dean about small business, uh, Jonathan Young about uh, energy uh, and, and resources, Jamie Strange about uh, international trade, Paul Goldsmith to the Minister of Economic Development about key elements of the policies in that area, uh, and Andrew Bailey uh, to the Minister of Revenue, does he stand by all uh, the policies in that area. Then we go on to legislation, likely only to do uh, a, a couple of bills today, the third reading of the Education uh, Amendment Bill uh, and the second reading of the Trans-Pacific Partnership Agreement uh, Amendment Bill. Uh, finishing at six o'clock, back again next Tuesday.